This is a teardown of a Powercom BNT-1500 AP battery backup. And I'm doing this a little different than normal because I didn't really feel like carrying this all the way to the office. So I believe to get to the batteries. Now there's uh looks like there's some screws that hold the front on. I just take my gloves off. <laughs> This should come forward now. Might require some persuasion with the screwdriver. There we go. No, I don't think. Actually, I don't know. No, those screws weren't holding the front on. Interestingly, this cable is extremely short. <laughs> so if you want to get the batteries out of this thing, I guess. Oh, well, maybe tug a little extra. There we go. I'm just going to drop the tripod down a little lower. You can see there's a screw right here on the front that holds the battery door on, which just uh, lifts up and pulls out. And I think these batteries might be leaking, so I'm going to put my gloves on. Not that these are the right gloves for the job. And uh, looks like this battery system is attached directly to the batteries. It's very short wires. There we go. <laughs> Interesting. You know, there's just wire there. It's just uh, it was bound up. Yeah, maybe these aren't leaking. I thought I saw some white lead sulfate dust. At least I'm assuming that's what the stuff is when these leak. I'm guessing it's lead sulfate since uh, batteries contain lead and sulfuric acid when they're lead acid batteries usually. But uh, either way. So now, flip this on its other side, I think. Oh, flip it upside down. There's uh, four screws holding the uh, side covers on and it looks like the transformer screwed in from the inside I kind of hit or miss with these kinds of things sometimes they screw them in through the bottom sometimes they screw them in through the top the feet are screw on so you could potentially salvage the feet for something if you wanted to Nice thick steel cover. And pretty standard looking battery backup internally. There's a good possibility it was still good, but these uh, no name brand battery backups just don't sell very well. Although, somehow controversial, I also consider uh, Cyber Power to be a bit of a no name brand, so. <laughs> I don't know. Some people swear by them, but I just, I've always felt like the cyber power stuff is really cheap. And yeah, a lot of this design is pretty Par for the course. It's weird. All right, let's go on the serial board. Definitely reminds me of uh, similar era APC backups of this uh, form factor. battery backups don't strap out very well. They don't, not really much of value in here. Got a low grade board that probably pays uh, 15 cents a pound. Usually I'll pop off these extruded aluminum heat sinks if they're not too hard to get off. Also worth noting, um, 
taking these apart is semi-dangerous. They can contain voltage still. Let's see here, a screwdriver I don't like. Let's find the capacitors. These aren't very big, but uh, let's see if I get a spark and a good jump scare out of myself. No. This one's dead. I don't think it's been used for a while, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, usually I'll uh, salvage heat sinks like this. Can't get to the screws that are holding them on, to the transistors or, I'm assuming, MOSFETs. But, uh, kind of just wiggle it back and forth until the leads get weak. Or you take a nice big screwdriver and twist it off. Oh, well, cool, it actually just pulled right through those. Hmm. Probably actually good parts for salvaging if uh, you like tinker. I imagine these relays are probably useful. Probably rated for a decent amount of power. 15 amps, 125 volts AC. Maybe 10 amps? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not very soon to focus on that. Usually these uh, higher um, rated battery backups have a lot more going on. Got a full bridge rectifier there, I believe. Yeah. Bunch of random transistors. I don't know if they're anything common though or usable. Part numbers don't look familiar. K023 C945. Hmm. That's some automotive fuses that have been soldered into the PCB. I always wondered if you could do anything with these chips. They laser etch top off. No, it's just hard to read because the old adhesive actually. And lighting. Let's see if I can turn on the light maybe. And... Nope. <laughs> Worth a shot. But here's a nice extruded aluminum heatsink that I can salvage. I'll just recycle it, but if you'd like to tinker, it's good stuff in these things sometimes. Just gotta be mindful of the risks. I've tore apart a lot of these over the years. Thankfully I haven't gotten hurt, but I've gotten a few sparks. Just never fun. That beefy transformer here. Part number doesn't mean anything to me. It's a Mega I. <laughs> Class B. No. Probably could do something fun with these. I don't know why. Um, and here's all the output side stuff. All your receptacles and your fuses. I like saving these, um, I don't remember, C13, 14, I think, I think, uh, 14 would be this end, because that's the pins. I think the odd numbers are usually the ones with the holes. But these are all spade lug style, so if you like to tinker and do projects, they're kind of nice. I have yet to find a use for them, to be honest, but... They're not worth anything in scrap, so, you know, might as well save it. Oops. Here's the board that does filtering of, uh, I guess Ethernet. And then your uh, serial interface connection with, uh, what I'm guessing are a bunch of opto isolators. Might be easier to read if you want to look them up if they're not upside down. Oh. Kind of awkward operating with a tripod in my way. <laughs> gloves right now. Yeah, I like saving these. I don't know why. I was actually going to use one of them in my um, Microtech um, router, 
so I can put the power supply on the inside. But then I realized there wasn't enough space for the power supply. So, but, uh, yeah. I mean, otherwise that piece is like, I don't know, maybe a tenth of a penny worth of brass for scrap. Thing I've never figured out what to do with are these little fuses, circuit breakers that they put. I don't think they're worth saving. They just get thrown in with the shreddable steel. Might save this. Might be kind of fun. I doubt the rating on it's very high, but yeah. You know. And then these are just normal receptacles and they have wires that they stab into little holes in the back. Pretty common in uh, battery backups. Not really much you can do with these though. I mean, I, I don't think people like this style of uh, receptacle with the stab in. I think the spade, or well not spade, but screw downs are more preferred. But uh, yeah, no, they'll just go on the brass breakage because there's really no use for them otherwise. That's interesting. A little bit different. Normally I see these when they when they do these stab-in type um, wires on the receptacles. Usually they're uh, solid copper, not stranded copper with a custom little crimp that gives you a solid pin. But uh, yeah, hopefully that was interesting and thanks for watching.